Cinco de Mayo. This is a maraca that I brought back from Mexico a few years ago. I've been a couple times and you certainly can't go to Mexico without bringing back one. And uh, my grandkids were babies at that time and I thought this would be something fun to bring them back. Uh, this is also a little favorite thing I brought back one year. This was another trip. This is Jesus, a little Mexican puppet. And uh, uh, we keep him in a little safe place and we just love to get him out every once in a while and make him dance. But uh, anyway, tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo, May the 5th. And I guess the teacher in me would like to clear up a little misconception. Uh, you know, a lot of people think that that is the Mexican independence and it actually is not. It is actually a battle between Mexico and France during the Civil War. And, uh, and the reason why it's such a, it's such a, you know, a favored thing that people celebrate was that it was kind of an underdog defeat by Mexico. And also, um, there's not a whole lot of connection to America with the Cinco de Mayo thing other than a big marketing ploy. As years gone on, it's become more of a marketing thing. And uh, the fact that the commander of the Mexican army was actually born in what is known now as Texas. And so he certainly wasn't American, but he was born in what is America now. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that people migrate to America and family traditions carry on and carry on. And so that is the reason why that America really celebrates it more than the Mexico does. So in lieu of that, uh, my Bunko group is tonight. And last month we decided since it was the day before May the 5th that we would do a Mexican theme tonight. And so I pulled out uh, my mom's uh, vintage recipe box and I knew she had a cake in there that I wanted to try. It's called a Mexican fruit cake. But before you turn your nose up, you know, nobody really likes fruit cake. But uh, this is called a Mexican fruit cake. And it basically is just a white cake with pineapple and pecans. I mean, how, you know, that, that just sounds good. And it has a cream cheese frosting. So the ingredients are very basic. Um, I'm, so what I'm gonna do is just take you through the process of me putting it together. Um, I wish I could slice it up and show you what it looked like, but I, it, it's something I need to take somewhere tonight. So, but anyway, I just want to show you what it looks like once it's baked and, uh, and go from there. So stay tuned and let's see how this cake turns out. Okay, here are the ingredients to the cake. You need two cups of sugar and two cups of flour, that's self-rising flour, two eggs, a cup of chopped nuts, and 16 ounces of uh, crushed pineapple with the juice. My can was 20 ounces, so I took out about a fourth of the, of the can. So I'm gonna mix up these five ingredients in the bowl, and then I'm gonna place it in a greased and floured nine by 13 baking dish. Okay, just want to show you the batter. Now that I've mixed all five ingredients, got all the sugar and flour incorporated, and so now I'm gonna pour it into my baking dish. Okay, I just covered my finger with a paper towel and just kind of cleaned up all four edges where I had greased and floured my baking dish. And so now it is ready for the oven, 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. All right, this cake is topped with cream cheese frosting, and so we need to mix this up while the cake is baking because we actually pour it onto the cake, uh, the warm cake, as soon as you take it out of the oven. So we need two cups of powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, a stick of butter, and eight ounces of cream cheese. I, my store was out of the block, so I just picked up an eight ounce block of, or an eight ounce tub of the cream cheese. And we're just gonna beat it till it's smooth, and then we'll get ready for the cake to come out. Okay, here is my cake after 30 minutes. Here is my cream cheese mixture, and now I'm ready to frost the hot cake. Okay, this is the finished cake. I took an additional fourth of a cup of chopped pecans and sprinkled it on top. The dish is still too hot to even pick up, so I'm gonna let it cool off just a little bit before I stick it in the fridge and uh, get it chilled for tonight. So this is Mexican fruit cake. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you try it. And happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. Bye-bye.